Hey everyone, I said I would do a um, follow-up to uh, Maravarock and um, kind of how it worked for me and and things it didn't work for. So I ended up taking Maravarock for about, it was about two and a half weeks. I stopped taking because I was taking the Stanton at the same time. And when I was told I was supposed to take them both at the same time, and the statin caused hyperventilation and shortness of breath, I noticed after I was taking it. And I was also noticing pains, really bad pains in my ribs. I couldn't go to the bathroom. I uh, was having cloudy urination, burning almost. Um, so at that point, I went and got my blood test. And the blood test showed that I had low carbon dioxide levels in my blood and then also very high glucose which is not normal for me at all so I mean after COVID it was a little bit elevated but nothing to like pre-diabetic and then I found out the statin does that I don't really blame much on Maravarock for side effects other than the first few days of Maravarock I had a, a numb face on the right I heard it can create Bell's palsy but like it never went into that after a few days it did worry me though um that my face was numb on like this side and one time it made my heart go up a little bit but then it could just because my nervous system is all screwed up because of pot so i don't know so um i was starting to feel a lot better in the simple fact like the heat i wasn't having as a heat intolerance towards the end of that then I got off, and I now am back to having heat intolerance again. One thing I've noticed the past few weeks since I've been off of Maravarock, my shortness of breath has greatly improved. So I think that it got rid of the inflammation in, um, got rid of all the inflammation in my lungs. Do I still have pot symptoms? Uh, yes, but I'm taking Pepsid complete and it seems to be helping my pots so I'm thinking that I had a mixture of inflammation in my lungs and my pots is created for mast cell just a thought um, I will be going this week to get my next long hauler blood test to see if anything has improved because I had quite a bit that were too low of like um, even my bed Jeff which normally is elevated in people with um, long haulers mine was really low there were quite a bit uh, quite a few markers that were really low um, and I had about four that were really elevated so my Rantes was the most so it'd be really interesting to see if the Maravarock which I was taking actually sells entry but it's the same thing um, is back to normal I will I bet you my um, my vascular information will still be up and I have a feeling probably with the IL-10 that's just my thoughts but I will get back to on that but I do think that Maravarock has helped a great deal with my breathing issues that were got even worse after I got the vaccine the Johnson Johnson vaccine it got really bad there like I had to buy an elevated pillow because it was so bad in the pain in my throat so um yeah and uh, my vertigo has come back I I've had really bad vertigo on and off and I went to physical therapy and it's come back now that I'm going on a uh, tall elevator uh, for school. So I'm going up like 16, 15 floors at once, and it goes really fast and it's brought back the vertigo. So I'm sure that has still a lot to do with the blood vessels and inflammation. And then I was put on prednisone. And with the prednisone, it's a vasodilator. Oh, sorry for the wind. It's a vasodilator, and it caused me to go to the ER in the hospital for a day. So. Um, only on five milligrams but I did feel quite better a few days after that so we'll, we'll see what that did I did feel better a little bit with the prednisone even a few days after I felt kind of like my old self there for a few days I don't know if it was because I had saline infusion or it was because of the prednisone I'm not quite sure but look at I'm standing I am standing making this video so that is progress um what else because I pretty much, the last thing I have left with this is mostly like, I have, I've been diagnosed with POTS, you know. And I'm pretty sure I have the hyperagenergic kind. And that's pretty much my last symptoms, for the most part, with this vertigo, the positional vertigo that just keeps coming back after I have a trigger. Um, 
So let's see here. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I'm missing with the pots. Oh yeah, so my resting heart rate, especially when I, I'm taking, like foods will aggravate it. So I, I know I have some sort of mast cell um, activation with the histamine, but foods will aggravate it. So with me taking the Pepsid and doing the long hauler protocol, um, my resting heart rate is anywhere now between like hmm, 65 and 75. And then standing, it goes up about 15 beats. So that doesn't really qualify for POTS, even though I do have the adrenal surges still. So it is somewhat better, but I still can't walk like three city blocks. I have to work my way up to that. And um, noises are still bothering me, so that sort of thing. But am I a little bit better? Yes. Did it completely take everything away? No. I am seeing another long hauler doctor that was on the list of Dr. Patterson's doctors. I'll be seeing him next month and I'll be getting my new blood test work so I will be reporting back with that. But I just hope this helps for any questions like I think this will be another few months if they get me on another drug which I'm hoping maybe it'll be fulvoxamine to help some more inflammation in my brain which I think is you know probably causing these temperature regulations and other things. I don't know. But um, yeah, I just thought I'd put this update out and enjoy this nice night and I'm able to stand, which is great. You know, people with pots have trouble standing and here I am making this video and I'm standing. So um, yes, I will, uh, in a couple weeks, I will make another update with my blood work. Um, I'll talk about what I originally had on my blood work and kind of where it is today um, and see what improved. Let's hope, let's hope a lot did and there's only a few more, you know, markers that are elevated. So, all right, well, I'll talk to you all later in a few weeks. Bye.